Each year, residents from all over Iowa and other states pour into the state fairgrounds in Des Moines for an end-of-summer celebration. The Iowa State Fair offers food and fun and a variety of attractions and activities to choose from, even in driving rainstorms. But what are the best attractions, the ones that every fairgoer should take in? Hey everyone, Mike Peterson here with you at the Iowa State Fairgrounds in Des Moines. We're counting down the top 10 things you should see and do if you visit the Iowa State Fair. Hope you like the first five items on the list. Let's check out the second five. Now there's actually two sky gliders. The west sky glider is located near the livestock barns. And the east sky glider, which takes you from the main concourse to Pioneer Hall and back if you so choose. The sky gliders give you a panoramic view of the fairgrounds as well as the downtown Des Moines skyline, including the state capitol building, and a chance to say hello to people if you're not afraid of the heights. Carnival ride connoisseurs are in luck. The Iowa State Fair offers two great sections of rides, but for different age groups. Located on the fairgrounds east end, Thrilltown offers rides aimed at younger children. Rides that spin around, but at a kinder, gentler pace, if you call that gentle. Then there's Thrillsville, a land of extreme rides for older people with no common sense. Rides that spin, rides that twirl, rides that go upside down, rides that go high in the air, and rides that fall! <laughs> well, I'll tell you something, you're not getting me on these rides. You couldn't get Peggy Whitson on these rides. Clayton Anderson, maybe. The State Fair's Varied Industries Building is always a popular destination. Fairgoers can see a variety of products on display. You can check out the latest jacuzzis, or try out a mattress, or even pet hair remover. Or the University of Iowa has a display. So does Iowa State, the University of Northern Iowa, and other colleges and universities. Various state agencies have information booths, and there's even a Barksdale cookie stand, but more on food later. If you want a good barometer of what our young people are doing, the 4-H building offers a vast display of ribbon-winning crafts by students from all over the state. A fascinating pulpery of artwork, photography, furniture, clothing, you name it, the 4-H kids can do it. If you leave the fairgrounds hungry, it's your own fault. Virtually every type of food is available at state fair food booths. Of course, there's old favorites like Barksdale cookies and fried foods on a stick. There's also sit-down restaurants and places to enjoy your favorite beverage. But nothing says state fair like a good corn dog. Hope you enjoyed this not-so-comprehensive list of the top 10 things you should see and do at the Iowa State Fair. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video channel and be checking out other videos in the future. And for the latest local news, check in to KMALand.com. Until next time, Mike Peterson. So long, my friend.